with the viewers have you ever thought of this kind of situation those that God talked today I pray for you as I pray for myself anything that will not let you hear from God let the thunder from heaven bulldoze it right now in Jesus name the book of Genesis 17 verse 1 says and when Abraham was 99 years can you imagine that how old are you <laughs> you that you are watching me right now how old are you are you up to 99 but God is about to do something concerning your case mm. Abraham was 99 years old he was 99 years and God appeared to him and said <laughs> I am the almighty God walk before me and be blameless walk before me and be blameless you know these three three words in these verses Genesis 17 1 I want to talk about the mystery of Genesis 17 1 at times you will look at yourself and say the time has gone you look at yourself and give up on your case you look at yourself and say it is over says who if at the age of 99 God appears to Abraham and said to him walk before me and be what blameless please you open your Bible to Genesis so, chapter 17 verse 1 you will see clearly what I'm saying God said to him walk before me and be blameless walk before me and be ye perfect two things two things your age will not stop you from moving forward your age will not stop you from moving forward your certificate is not a guarantee you may look at yourself and say ah, i'm already 70. i don't know if god will bless me <laughs> says who you are 70. look my dear brothers and sisters i can see the agony i can see what you are passing through i feel your pain i only want to tell you this it is a promise that god gave to me before i came to this exalted altar to speak on the good news of god he said to Abraham, walk before me and be ye perfect. He said, walk before me and be blameless. That means that Abraham is not a perfect man. God said you are not perfect. You are in trouble. You are in sin. Or something has happened. Because of that one, you write yourself off the line. Why? Please, don't write yourself off. Walk before him who knows your name and be perfect. Don't give up. Giving up is a painful thing. Giving up in a fight is a painful thing. If David should give up, there could have not be children of Israelites. There would have been a captivity under Goliath. No giving up. If Abraham should give up, ah, we could have not be singing about him today. Abraham blesses a mind. We cannot be singing about him today. He refused to give up, even when he is not perfect. The perfect God will come your way. The perfect God 
will work your way out. The perfect God will see you through. You are not perfect on your own. Say stood and I will make the world your full stool. It is God's word. It's not my word. And this Genesis 17 verse 1, the mystery behind it is much. When I'm thinking, I'm paddling, studying, going through the Bible, I heard the voice clearly that God says to me that indeed many are going to be blessed. Yes, you that you are watching me, you are almost on the verge of giving up on yourself. Please, I beg you, don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on yourself. Why should you give up? Why should you give up when there's joy? Weeping may dear for a night, but joy coming in the morning. At, this, at that hour of your age, I want you to place hand on your forehead. Then we pray like this. Say, oh God, my father, what that which you have made for me from the beginning, from the onset of the world, bring it to pass in my life, in Jesus' name. Put your hand in your forehead every early in the morning. Pray for yourself. Don't let any fake arranged pastor to pray for you. Why I call them fake arranged pastors? Some Babala will refuse to stay in their, in their shrine. They came out and begin to organize churches. Looking for whom to dupe. God bless you. Please stay tuned. I have more to upload. Thank you so much for being there for me. God bless you.